After learning last week when the fellas would be back to Allen Park, we finally know when we, the general fan, can go. We got the official start date for the training camp dates that fans can be in attendance. Here is this information is coming from Detroit Lions Twitter. Very excited about this. The first day that fans can be in attendance will be July 27th. That will be for loyal Lions members, a.k.a. season tickets holders. That will be at 8.30 in the morning. Most of the practices will be at 8.30 except for a few. The first time non-season ticket holders can go will be July 29th at 8.30 a.m. Now, as I pull up my calendar, July 29th is a Monday. So the season ticket holders will get to go that Saturday. July 29th is a Monday. That's the first day that we can go. Then you have Tuesday the 30th, and then you have Wednesday the 31st, Thursday the 1st, and Friday the 2nd. All five of those from the 2nd to, or from the 29th to August 2nd, will be at 8.30 in the morning. Then there's going to be about a, a little over a week gap. Then we'll be back for the, at 1.15, which is one that general fans can go to. I've never been to one late in the afternoon. I tend to go in the morning. Then you have the next day season ticket holders. And then the 14th is when they will have the final training camp for general fans. Now these tickets are free. They do not cost any money. And according to Pride of Detroit, you are going to have to do like you did last year, which is get online July 9th at 10 a.m. Now, last year when I did this, I got in line whenever it started. I think it started at nine. I was like number 700 and something in line. It took me maybe 45 minutes to get my tickets. And what I did is I wind up getting a ticket for every day. I was unable to make it every day, but I did get a ticket at least. I think I got two tickets per day um, to go. They are free. It does not cost. And unlike last year, I didn't know some of the concession stands do take cash to get waters and things like that. I don't think you can bring your own water, but waters were like $6 for like a bottle of Meyer purified water, somewhere around there. So be ready, but you know how it is already. Now, there are some things that stood out to this. First of all, it's later than I remember. It's later than I remember. I want to say that it's at least oh, the fellas will be in the rookies on the 20th, the veterans on the 23rd, which is the Friday before, I believe. And then not the Friday before, because the Friday before would be the 26th. So Thursday, 25, Wednesday, so Tuesday. And then the fellas come in. The other fellas get there on the 23rd. Is You know what I'm trying to say. The rookies come in on Saturday. Then that Tuesday, the veterans come in. And then the following Monday is when training camp begins. Now, there is a bit of a gap. And why is that? Because this is the week here that I believe they will be joint practicing with the New York Giants. Don't forget the Detroit Lions have two home, I'm sorry, two away preseason games and one preseason game at home, which is their last one. Now, something that I don't remember if this was like, like this last year, so bear with me. I don't think it was. But one thing that I'm noticing is the training camp will still be going on between our first preseason game is the 8th, which is Thursday. Yes, because that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I plan to be at the Fantasy Football Expo. So the August 11th, let me make sure of these dates, man, because it changes every year. So August the 11th is indeed a Sunday. So the fellas' first preseason game is Thursday the 8th. And they will still, they will have two practices. They play Thursday the 8th. Then they'll have a Sunday training camp at 115. That would explain why it's 115. Then they're going to have, they're going to be off until, nope, they play Thursday. They play Thursday. Then they have a training camp Sunday, a training camp Monday, and then a training camp Wednesday. So that initial game, after that initial game, 
they will still have three days of training camp, which is the part that I don't think it's been like that, where the fellas have had training camp while the preseason was going on. Because most of the time, when the preseason gets here, the actual games get here, then the fellas are done. They're done with training camp. But it looks like that's the game that they play the Giants. They'll have joint practices. That will be on the road. Then they will come back and be gearing up for their second game. So in between that first and second game, it looks like they're going to have uh, training camp practices. Three, to be in fact. So let me know if I am reading this right because I don't believe that we've had training camp before while the preseason was going on. So I am very intrigued about that. So let me know in the comments below. That is pretty much it. Uh, wasn't even going to make a video today, but I saw that this came out and we have been waiting on this. So I probably will touch base here and there. Uh, I am trying to correct the graphics, uh, get all my affiliate links together and things like that. So just know that if there is some information to talk about, about your Detroit Lions, that is worth making a video. I will definitely do that. I oh went to Cedar Point on Saturday and man, it was hot. But I have a suggestion. If you are going to go to Cedar Point, you make sure if you don't get, there's two rides that you need to get on. The uh, Top Thrill 2 and the Steel Vengeance. I was unable to get on the Top Thrill 2. I am planning to go back and get on the rides I couldn't get on. But the Steel Vengeance used to be the mean streak, so it's all the way in the back of the park, and it is fantastic. Fantastic. It's one of the best roller coasters I've ever been on. I literally could ride it all day long. It was that good. So anyway, so now with the training camp being where it is, now I'm a little curious as to when am I going to do the reactions? When am I going to do the reactions to the games? Because the plan was to lead up to training camp. But training camp, I believe, will be going on the 20th. So my thought is to start the reactions on the 1st or June the 30th, which would lead me to July 19th. And then I could, the fellas will be back and we'll have fresh content for, 20, for the 2024 season. So anyway. I hope everybody is having a great week thus far. You doing everything you want to do, enjoying outside, the rain, whatever the situation is. I am enjoying this time away from the computer uh, because I spend most of my time in front of it, 11 months a year in front of it. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here and there. The I'll probably wind up premiering the reaction video so that way I can be in the comment section with you. If YouTube wasn't so strict on NFL copyright, I would do it live, but I can't do that. So I will, I'm probably going to premiere those maybe, I don't know, five o'clock every day. And it, there'll be one game per day. We'll start with the Kansas City Chiefs game. I'll give you some thoughts on that, on my experience if I went to that game. And you know what? That's what I'll do too. So before we get into the highlights, I'll do the like my experience leading up to that moment. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go from there. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And remember this channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. I will see you in the next video. Enjoy the summer.